Hey everybody, it's Thursday. Hope you're having a great week. Um, you're almost through it. Congratulations. Hope your uh, things are going well for you. Um, all week long, we've talked about the, uh, the Good Samaritan. We've talked about the importance of loving our neighbor. And so we're just going to continue that thought um, today and tomorrow. And um, I just pray that it, it gets on your heart and you know that you need to love somebody that's unlovable or that's different or that just needs your help or your grace. And so I pray that for you. I pray that with you. And um, may we come together and love the unlovely, um, just like me and you are. So there you go. All right, first thing I talked about was um, I must see their needs. And the next thing I want to kind of touch base on is I must sympathize with their pain. I must kind of try to realize what they're going through and say, well, you know what, what if? Um, I've learned in ministry the best way for me to understand somebody is to put um, put myself in their shoes to um, to actually see what they might be going through and here's the deal you st you're still going to see it from your point of view but at least you see what they're dealing with from their point of view does that make sense I hope it makes sense so anyway verse 33 when he saw him his heart was filled with compassion um, we need to be willing to say you know what I see the hurting, I see the frustrated, and I want to help them through this. I see someone that's going through something, and maybe all I have to do is just buy them an unsweet tea at Sonic. All God's people say, just show up. That's it. I think one of the biggest things that people don't understand about ministry, if you want to be a minister, and listen to me, we're all called to the ministry of reconciliation. So you're all ministers. Sorry about your luck. You're stuck with us. But if you're called to that, Little things make great impacts. Just stopping in and saying, what do you need? How can I help you? Again, here's, for those who can drink this, here's a sweet tea. I don't know very many, most of us my age have to drink unsweet tea. Anyway, I digress. We have to love the unlovely. We have to love ourselves, And we have to love the unlovely that's in ourselves. There's a lot to this. And I think one of the biggest things that I, th I, th I think is a struggle in, um, in churches today is we have, a, we have trouble loving other people because we have trouble loving ourselves. And biblically, I think you can't love someone else till you're okay with who you are. Um, God loves me, so I'm going to love me. Even though I know all the ugly crud, I almost said crap, sorry. Oh, I said it. Anyway, all that stuff that's in me, God loves me anyway. And when I see that and know that, I can start loving other people. C.S. Lewis says this, Do not waste your time bothering on whether you love your neighbor. Act as if you did. As, if, as soon as, as we do this, we find one of the great secrets. When you are behaving as if you love someone, you will presently come to love them. It's pretty good, isn't it? Act it till you get there. C.S. Lewis said that a long time ago. We think that's a new thought. Sometimes you just go, go with it. You may not understand them. You may get frustrated by them. Love them anyway. I, Mother Teresa says that a lot and throughout her readings and throughout her stuff. Love people anyway. And she did. And that's what I want to do. I want to love people anyway. Now, is that hard? Yeah. You know why? Because people can be jerks. Can I get an amen? People can be nasty, ugly, whatever you fill in the blank. Love them anyway. Love them anyway. Galatians 6.2 says this. Share each other's troubles and problems, and in this way you obey the law of Christ. I love you. I love you so much that you tell me what's going on and it's there. I think one of the other problems that we have with church and church people, sometimes we tell one people and the whole church knows. Um, we need to be careful of that as well. We need to be able to keep people's secrets. If they're going through something, let them be the one that gives the testimony. Don't you give it for them. We tend to want to give everybody's testimony for them sometimes. And I think we need to let them do it in their own time. And maybe if it's just a good thing and you were able to bless them, you'd be a part of that testimony. And all God's people say, amen. Got a little preachy today. I hope God's using this in your life. I know this week he's making me look at things um, in a different way, which is always good. And I pray that it happens for you as well. Pray with me. Father, thanks. Um, may we love each other the way you love us. May we uh, see their their, their situation and love them anyway. May we understand that we're all a mess. 
We all fall short. And Lord, I pray that we, um, like the Samaritan, have a heart that's full of compassion. Uh, may, we, uh, may we sympathize with those who are hurting. And it's in Jesus' name I pray and all God's people say, Amen. Have a good Thursday.